So I'm about to try the Vive with the Vive wireless adapter. Basically you have an adapter receiver right up there. And you have to have a dedicated PCIe slot in your desktop to be able to wire it in. It's really the only downside I can think of it compared to something that's more like USB based or Thunderbolt based. But I really want to try it and see if there's a delay or a resolution difference from a standard wired adapter. So here we go. Right here you can see he's got the Vive wireless adapter plugged in and it's a USB connection down to a battery pack right here. You can see it attaches to the Vive right here and it's got one HDMI, a USB, and a power cord coming into the front display set right here. Let's try it out. Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I'm just sensing right now it's not it. I keep thinking there's going to be a cable that's going to block me from moving. Like an official, like, and there isn't any. Okay. And this is so cool not having a cable. Oh yeah. when you can just move around freely. That was an interesting experience. There was only one hiccup where I noticed there was a slight frame loss, but I'd say 98% of the time it was completely smooth and a perfect experience. Now, I'm curious if it can work with the Vive Pro. The Vive Pro has 78% higher resolution, and when you're pumping out that many pixels, it's 78% harder for a wireless system to keep up with it. So I'd be really interested to find out if it works perfectly with the Vive Pro. The guy I was talking to here at HTC said that it should work just fine with the Vive Pro at full 90 frames per second. Hoping it will, it probably will. but I have my doubts. Not sure what the price point will be on this or the Vive Pro yet, but I'm really excited to see VR go wireless. This is fantastic. It's a huge step to room scale VR, being able to go and experience different environments, being able to walk around the VR environment without being hindered by a cable. It's huge. It's a big deal and it makes it so much more immersive when you're not tethered. Big thumbs up. Can't wait to buy one myself. Woo. That's it for the hands-on with the HTC Vive wireless adapter. If you want to check out my video on the HTC Vive Pro, link in the description. This was freaking epic. I would love it if they can actually pull this off with an HTC Vive Pro. It would be freaking amazing. I can't wait to buy one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.